You know, many events and fundraisers have gone virtual this year, but their impact is still very real. Jim Ostrom is here on behalf of Dairy Cares with an update on their efforts. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Well, I'm great. I can't have to say congratulations on a whopping fundraising total this year. We had a overwhelming success and our event is 10 years old. This was our 10th anniversary. And to be very frank, I, we all thought it was a bust with COVID, economic crisis going on, social unrest, and dairy farming stress. And, uh, and then we decided to proceed in a whole new way. And the new way was an online version, which is something unusual to us. And we started seeing a lot of traction. And a lot of folks that are traditional sponsors stood up and said mm -hmm. we're sponsors, um, but also a lot of folks that uh, you know, can give small, and they did. And uh, we raised $210,000 on an online event. And uh, over our history, we raised $1.5 million in 10 years. Wow. Uh, but we set uh, our second highest total ever uh, with an online event where 300 people participated and bid on things in order to help children of Wisconsin. Well, let's talk a bit about that partnership. Sure. Through your donations, Children's was able to open an incredible facility. Yeah, they have actually, Dairy Cares was started by uh, a small group of us 11 years ago. Uh, we had a garden party uh, at my house, and I, I tend to be a landscape gardener, and we have a nice environment. We thought I'd have a garden party. Well, after that event, just a, a group of friends, we decided to do it for a great cause. And we decided after a lot of discussion that Children's Hospital was something we all had in common. We knew somebody or a friend or a relative's uh, child maybe needed uh, Children's Hospital. So we made that our cause. And uh, over time, we've contributed every year to Children's. And they formed a simulation lab, and they named it after us. And it was quite an honor. Uh, the dairy industry has come together. And in many ways, our community is coming mm -hmm. together, a farming community, uh, to help children. And what a training facility for our state to have access to. I'm sure they're extremely grateful for these funds. Oh, they are. And to, to watch them, we, we toured the facility. And it's, it's so interesting to see your name on the side yeah. of a, a facility. Um, and it, it said, says right there, Dairy Cares of Wisconsin. And inside, they have uh, very complex, uh, very sophisticated uh, mannequins mm -hmm. of a premature baby wow. or of an infant of all the different stages in life. Uh, so that the doctors and the nurses can train and be prepared for when there's a true trauma coming in the door. Well, your big campaign has moved forward. I'd imagine dairy can care year-round if someone is sure watching and they would like to learn more about getting involved. What's the best way for them to do that? Uh, online with Dairy Cares of Wisconsin. And by the way, this event online happened two weeks ago, but donations are still coming in. People said, we just want to help. And I think that's what separates us from many people or many organizations is people are doing it to help, not to get recognition, not to get sponsorship credibility, just to help. And that's uh, very heartening for the dairy industry. Well, we will put a link on our website so that we are very easily clicking our way right to Dairy Cares. But congratulations again, and thank you for the work that you continue to do. Thank you.